So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this luxurious, beautiful, cozy, amazing, gorgeous apartment that I currently live in. When I mean so many, I mean so many. In every single of my videos, there's always a comment. How do you build so good? What are the decals? What is this style called? What is this? What is it? And honestly, I find that as a compliment. So thank you guys so much. I personally don't believe I built like the best, like the best, best, best. So many other amazing builders out there. This type of a style apartment, I wouldn't really know what to call it. So sum it up, we're going to call it the wrong style. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you how to build my apartment. Look at the exterior first. Wow, I love the architecture. I'm such a great builder, right? Yeah, definitely. I love it so much. You guys, you already know the exterior. I was not gonna spend 10 hours on that. No. But you could definitely work around this and make it into a very beautiful apartment. This is how the bird side view of my apartment looks like. I'm gonna recreate the exact same thing over here. So don't you worry. I'm gonna try to make this tutorial as easy as possible. <laughs> So first, we're gonna go up one, two, three, three floors up, okay? So my living room is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then my room is a four by four, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do you get it? And then you're gonna go, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then just connect this here like that. So now you officially have the room and the living room. So for the little entryway, you're gonna do two. We're gonna create the little storage laundry room, so you're just gonna do literally just a box and then you're not gonna add anything here don't add anything here you're gonna start off here you're gonna go one two three you're gonna place down three walls and then you're gonna go like this and you're just gonna connect it like that this is what you should have so far okay so from the laundry room you're gonna go one two three four this is gonna be the office now don't get scared i know you're like oh and then you're gonna go another one two three and then just connect it like that. So this is your office. Now we're going to create the bathroom, which is going to be over here. And for the bathroom, it's very simple. It's just two, three, and then three more. Now for the kitchen, from the living room, you're going to go one, two, three, four. And then basically you're just going to connect it like that. So this is what you should have. This is basically the layout of my apartment. All right. For the bathroom, you're going to want to do this little end in here. Because this is what you're just going to do this like thing. I don't know what you call this, but yeah. Since everything is basically wood, all you really just have to just, you know make the whole thing wood literally it's gonna all be wood trust i'm gonna start adding my windows so for my windows you're gonna go to build windows of course you're gonna go to framed windows and you're gonna choose the simple framed window place it down make sure your change grid size is always the smallest and then you're gonna go to scale tool click it and then you're just gonna scale scale it because you're gonna have to have three windows so you're gonna want to scale your windows to be the size of 8.25 and you're gonna color your windows this custom color that i made the hex which could be c7 c8 c8 and there you go you're gonna place your window to the corner three other ones and now you're gonna click on the height thing and then you're just gonna place it it should be right in the middle like that and you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so this is what you have so far, right? Go to build, put a basic shape, grab this vertical cylinder, put it right here in the corner of your scale tool and move it down. And you're gonna scale it to 3.55. And now you're gonna copy it again, grab your scale tool again and just make it a little smaller than the original one, which would be 3.4. And you're just gonna grab it and put it up to the sky. And that's how you create like the little cylinder thing. <clears throat> Let's paint the walls now. They're the exact same color as the windows. So literally just copy and paste the same color from the windows. Or you could just use white if you want. I just decided to use this custom color that I made. Color the cylinder the same thing. Every single wall. I know you may be like, it's not white enough though. I do this so it's like grayish, whitish because of the lighting that we're gonna add later. That's why it's gonna make it look brighter. The only thing you're not gonna color the same color is going to be the office. So this one just use white. All right for the floor floor now you're gonna go to material and you're gonna choose the wooden grain now for the color it is a custom color for your hex you're gonna put e zero c e b b and i always like to color the bottom one just white and you're gonna have this all right now for the windows in the bedroom these are gonna be just a little bit smaller just try to make them all fit together you have to make three windows fit together in one wall so i click something like this now to add you're gonna go to build mode basic shapes grab a cube place it down scale it make it the exact same width as this color it the same color you're gonna drag it something like this 
0.91 and put it in there and then there we go you can do the exact same thing to this window in the corner down up 91 and you can do the exact same thing for the windows in the bedroom 3.75 and then just push it in and then boom the apartment's coming along now for the windows in the office you're gonna do the exact same thing just two windows here and then two windows on the other side all right now add some flat baseboard all over the apartment besides the bathroom don't add in the bathroom <laughs> time to add some doors you're gonna use a traditional front door and you're just gonna place it in the middle of the entryway right here then you're gonna use the modern reveal door you're gonna color it white or whatever color you really want and then the last Last box should be the really black color and then you're gonna just copy it for the storage room you're gonna add it right here for the office you're gonna add it all the way in the corner and for the bathroom you're just gonna add it right here so this is pretty much it the layout of the apartment if you don't want to decorate it how I decorate it exactly how I decorate it you can obviously just leave it like this and go off and decorate it however you want but if you want ideas or want to decorate exactly like me just keep watching it's really not that hard to decorate when you know what you want or the style you're going for if you want to find some ideas always use Pinterest Bro, Pinterest need to sponsor me because like I be saying Pinterest a little too much. So for the kitchen, we're gonna start off with the counter, of course. You're gonna go to decorate and you're gonna go to counters and you're gonna go to the modern counter and you're gonna choose this one. Boom, we expensive. You're gonna place the second one right here. And then you're gonna go to, you're gonna go to decorate cabinet, a modern pantry cabinet. And you're gonna choose the tall modern fridge cabinet. You're gonna go to decorate appliances pro chef xl stove put it right here and then move this counter just a little bit to the side so it's not in the oven you know you're gonna go to decorate cabinet tall modern cabinet you're gonna choose the tall modern half cabinet and just place that now to create this beautiful window here you're gonna go to windows framed window simple frame window place it right in the middle of two tiles you're gonna rescale it to the max and then you're just gonna adjust the, the height and make sure to recolor it the exact same color as the windows. Now for the little island here, you're gonna go again to decorate, counters, modern island. You're gonna choose this one, right modern end island. Rotate it and you're gonna place it right here. And now you're gonna grab the modern island counters and then just fill it in all the way till you get to the end. Copy one of your windows, size it down just a little bit and then you can put it right here. Obviously, fix the placement, fix the height, and then boom, you have a beautiful window that you can look out into the town. Now, recolor everything. The count, the cabinets are going to be just white, so just literally paint them all white. Add some little gold in there. It's going to be white. The material is going to be smooth plastic. Then, for the third one, it's going to be a custom color, which is going to be F-E-F-A-E-0. -E the material is going to be metal. And the third one is going to be wood grain. And the custom color is going to be AF9483. And basically just color the rest of these like that. Add some appliances, four bar stools. Remember you guys, you can color these any type of colors you want. You do not have to have the exact same colors as me. For your sink, you're just going to make it black. You can use some basic shapes to just make this light like that. You then use advanced placement to just, you know. If you want to do that, you don't have to though. That's just extra. You're going to grab some horizontal neon lights. Make sure you color them white or any color you want or you prefer. And then just put it under. Grab this thingy. Grab the transform tool and then just bring it down a little bit. And there you go. You're going to go to build. You're going to go to decorate lighting. Find the cylinder. Find this type of lighting. Change your grid to the large. And then just put three down. Make sure they're evenly spread out. And then you're gonna go in your grid to medium. Go to the scale tool and just bring them down by one. Now you're gonna recolor them. So for the light, so first recolor them all black. And now for the lighting preference, you could choose any types of color. For me, for the middle one, I have it this type of pink, which is a custom color. And that is C A A D 9 Five. and then the rest i have another custom color which is f a e c c d and i use that for the two outer ones and the middle one is the only one that's pink i know it may look a little too bright right now but don't you worry this is how i decorated the wall on the side so if you want to do the exact same thing you can go ahead and do that as well now for the living room all i did was grab the wicker sectional corner and place it right here then i grabbed the straight version and put it one two three and then basically i just created this type of couch i added some pillows and obviously added some color to them i grabbed an outline carpet i made it as big as possible and then i'm gonna i recolored it placed it under my sofa these are the colors so first you're gonna go to colors you're gonna choose white for both of these boxes and then you're gonna go to materials and you're gonna use small flowers for both of the boxes now for the coffee table all i really did was use basic shapes and what i did is I just basically could resize these as much as you want or need and it's basically just did something like this you could do this design however you want it does not have to be like mine so for example let's say that's my coffee table <laughs> 
Now to create this, what I did was I grabbed a basic shape and I just made it as big as almost two tiles. Not only that, I added some glass on top, added a vase. This is a decal I'll show you guys later. I added two books and a candle. Then you're gonna grab basic shapes again and you're gonna make a small cube like this. It has to be this thin. And you're basically just gonna place them like this. One, two, three. Three should be able to fit, all right? You're gonna go to basic shapes again, and you're gonna grab a vertical cylinder and use a scale tool. And you're gonna make it as big as this, like something like that. And put it on both sides. You're gonna grab the same shape again, and then you're just gonna like use that shape to basically add some detail to like the sides. I know it might seem a little messy. That's where you're gonna grab your transform tool and push them in, push them out. It really just depends on you, like how you wanna make them. Make sure you get every corner. And you're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Now you could add a TV, but I decided that I like these Roku types of TV. So all I do is grab a basic shape, color it black, grab a decal, and put on this decal all the decals will be linked in the description by the way in a google doc so you guys can just copy and paste them but with this you're gonna use the transform tool bring it up bring it to the side grab this red thing and just tilt it just a little bit down and don't fully connect it to the wall because you're gonna see what we're gonna do right now make sure it's centered by the way grab the ordinary string and just attach it to the wall try to add a little bit of realism here it doesn't matter how it really looks it's just like as long as it's getting hold I said, oh Maybe not that one. Grab this empty growth bookcase and fill it up with white books and color it the exact same as the floor. Add paintings or decals, whatever you want to call them. You're going to grab these sleek picture frame lights, which you will go to lighting and place them on top of these paintings or decals. Color them whatever color you want, pink, blue, green, yellow. You're going to grab another horizontal neon light and then color it again, whatever color you want. And just place it in the back. It should look something like this. You could decorate it however you want. I'm just showing you guys like how I did those types. You know? All I did was go to bed, grab the standard single bed, I know, all the way to the corner like this. So they're bo basically both of these are overlapping. Then what I did is I just colored them all quill gray. For the headboard, all I did was grab basic shapes. You're going to pull the beds just a little, a little bit forward, just a little bit, not too much. Just enough for the headboard to fit. Grab it and place it in the back. Put it on top of the bed, transform tool, drag it down. And then you're going to grab more basic shapes and just fill in like these areas, these little gaps here. Resize them, you know. You can add some pillows, however you like. You can also just grab this pillow, transform tool, you know, just try to make it like lay it down for more realism grab more of these like comfy type looking things and i also decided to add some pillows on the window for like you know more comfort for my dressers all i did was use this type of dressers not completely like towards the side but something like this for my dressers all i did was use a basic shape added a lamp a clock and a candle i got another basic shape made it just a little bit smaller use a transform tool and pushed it in then i use a thin square beam and like just place it on there next all you will do is add paintings add lighting a neon light add a comfortable chair here you know just add your desk for the neon lights i'm gonna show you exactly what i did for that so let's say you have your desk and all that ready all right you're gonna want to add your neon lights last you're gonna go to decorate lighting horizontal neon on light and you're just gonna basically just go crazy literally any design can work you want to create mountains create mountains you want to create straight lines create straight lines have one coming from over here from the top corner have one coming from there and you're gonna color them any color you want it doesn't matter it does not have to be pink it does not have to be white it does not have to be purple it could be any color decorate these shelves however you want all i did was add the same lighting that i had on top of the paintings on the bottom this i used it i made this with basic shapes again just copy and paste this and put it right here with just without the things this mirror is two of the backlit mirrors and i just added an orange lighting in the back i also added a rug for the outside i just added more decals and my 100k um subscriber plaque because you know <laughs> we had it <laughs> for the entryway you could just add a cork board boxes if you want to make this like you're also moving in role play for the laundry room just add at this one from the kitchen just copy it and place it right here add counters and the same sink from the kitchen and then you know just your laundry stuff for the office all i did was add a shelf in the side and added some boxes i added like this polaroid type thing more towels oh this plastic shelving and then i also added some of these like shelves here more decals these aren't based this isn't basic shapes but you're gonna grab this industrial 
dresser. You're gonna add this basic shape on the bottom because as you can see, yeah, that's not gonna be a cute. Just to fill in those gaps, a rug, a desk, a computer, a mug, a chair with a pillow, this exact same books from the living room, a teddy bear if you want it. For the bathroom, what I did do is I grabbed this vertical cylinder shapes and I just started adding those all around. I grabbed the basic shape and I just put it here to made it a cube size, you know, just a little indent or like you know, to come out. A toilet, a shelf, a mirror. You could just add a normal bathtub. I went the extra mile and just made a custom bathtub, but you don't have to. Again, you just do that with basic shapes. Basic shapes is going to be your best friend for this. And the transform too, as well as the advanced placement. Add more shelves if you want to add some like shampoos and stuff like that. For this corner here, all I did was go to counters and grab the wall mounted counters and just put them on here and color them concrete white color and then for this mirror here all i did was add a pillar size it down put the mirror on there things here with some perfume so yeah you guys that's basically how you would build oh my bad for getting the roof that is so embarrassing but just grab a flat roof paint it white from the bottom leave the first one normal the second one you're gonna color the exact same color as the wall and the third one you're just gonna paint it white for the lighting you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited for this so you're gonna go to build mode right i'll make it nighttime so you guys can see lighting sleek ceiling lighting change your grid to medium you're gonna place place four of these i'm not gonna show you all of it but just some just what you need to know also for here for the build you're gonna go to structural you're gonna go to plain arch and you're gonna choose this plain high arch change your grid to the smallest and then you're just gonna yeah do that transform tool push it in and just recolor it the same as the walls and then you have that arch wow the more you know i don't like how this dark gray rim is around it so what you're gonna do to the rim it's just instead of smoky gray you're gonna change it to just white and the material change it to smooth plastic it, it just matches better okay for the colors now ready ready now that all of your lights are like this this one right here i decided to go with a bluish type color and i used the custom color d9e6ff for this one on the left corner i use this deep orange for this one over here i use my custom color pink one and then for this one i use this like purplish you could use any type of purple color you want and as you can see that just brings so much color into the living room you can change the colors you can make this one red green white you could you could do anything literally and your apartment would just look so your apartment will be looking plain you know it'll be it actually like look cozy feel more warm i really do hope you guys did enjoy this mini tutorial or like this tutorial i tried i don't really do these building tutorials because of the fact that when i'm building i'm like just focused building and um uh, too into building and i don't really know what to say anymore so you guys would just probably hear me like if i did a full-on speed build i would just be like uh put this here and then i'll be quiet for the like the next 20 minutes and then i remember that i'm recording and then i have to talk and i'll be like oh oh and then you know so i'm very sorry if like i don't know how to like say like the words out loud because i'm trying to concentrate on building at the same time trying to give you guys steps on how to build when you're done with like decorating your apartment you can just go ahead and any space that doesn't have anything like these coffee tables add food and like candles it looks so it looks so good all the decals are gonna be linked in the description mm -hmm. it's gonna be a google doc i add the decal and the code for the decal so you guys could just copy and paste it anyways you guys besides the point that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy it. if you did please consider subscribing it is totally free as well as liking today's video commenting down below what was your favorite part of today's video i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one remember i love you so much and god love you so much bye clouds I am so sorry if I sound so confusing. I do want to apologize. Um, yeah. But you guys asked for it. You said, can we get a building tutorial? So there you go. I have the layout and the lighting. Anyways, bye-bye.